And I mean, Charlie's losing his mind as well. We already saw what Charlie said earlier, but Charlie's like, he's starting to get worse. I genuinely think that Charlie is going crazy. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even going to like be lying to you. I genuinely think I'm not even being like Fashis is here or anything. I genuinely believe that all of this coming out about Trump is making him lose his mind. We, we talked about this before. If you didn't watch the video on it, go watch it. What the heck are you doing here if you don't know what happened? Anyways, he's being arraigned for what he did when it came to those federal documents that he stole from the government. Um, and he was live tweeting his his arraignment. Let me see if I can pull this up for you. He was live tweeting going to jail. The only president in the entire world to live tweet going to jail. As you can see here, um, on, on the today, on the day of his arraignment, uh, the grand jury was never told about the Presidential Records Act or the Clinton uh, Sox case. The Clinton Sox, both, uh, both exonerating. Will deranged Jack Smith be looking into the tens of thousands of pages of documents that Biden uh, had in Chinatown uh, when caught quickly? Uh, sent up to box uh, Boston. What about the fifteen hundred bucks that Biden had the witch hunt um, early in the morning? Uh, election interference again a little little earlier in the afternoon. He sponsored his own tweet. America first. America first again. This just so you know, this is all, as he's on the drive to the courthouse. <laughs> he's sitting in the back, but Hillary's twenty five quabillion emails heard. Her, her one, her 79 more billion emails. You did. I didn't send her to jail for that. If you, if he could have controlled the, um, the DOJ, like apparently Biden is right now to send him to jail. How in the world was he not en uh, able to send Clinton to jail? Has anybody talked about that? Come on, come on. I wonder if the PGA players who didn't need my advice to, um, and take a massive amount, to take massive amounts of money that was offered to them by 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 the golf tournament. Oh, wait, he's being arraigned for committing crimes against the uh, for committing crimes against America. And in the back seat of the car, he's watching a golf game and live tweeting about how they lost, where, how the team that he that said that didn't need him lost. Are you serious right now? Are are you 100% serious with me? Is it's the most it's literally the most petty man to ever live. As he's going to jail, he needs he needs to he needs to get one more sneaky tweet out before he leaves. Oh, this is so good. Look at him. Look at him tweeting on his way to jail. One of the saddest days in history of our country. On my way to the courthouse, which <laughs> Hey guys, uh -huh, on my way to court. Um going to jail for 400 years. I think it's pretty shitty, don't you think? Um anyways, best president ever, don't you say? Um, one leg equals one less day I spend in federal prison. This is not a serious person. This is the most seriously unserious person I've ever seen in my entire life. This is crazy to me. You know, you know, the libs be eating this up. The libs are eating good. Okay. The wine moms are eating good. The wine moms are going crazy. The wine moms are going crazy. Thank you, Miami. Such a warm welcome on such a sad day for our country. Fake Tapper just demanded. Oh, it was such a sad day for our country. Anyways, this is when he when he stopped tweeting here with the the seven to the four hour here. This is when he was in the court. So let's uh, we can take a little look. We can take a little looky outside the courthouse. As you see, all of um, I love how this is happening in Florida, the epicenter of Trump derange, uh, like uh, of, of like the Trump uh, mind virus of the Trump derangement. Uh, of the Trump cult, you know, Th this is the epicenter of everything that Trump has created in like right here in Florida, specifically Miami, honestly. Um, I, I think it's wild. I think it's wild that this happened to them. And this must, this must be what it was like to watch, um, to, to be like a, like a, like a, like a French King fan when he was on his, when, when my boy Louis was on his way to get his head his head uh, cut off, you know, when he was on his way to get like a haircut, but they, <laughs> but they went a little, but they cut a little too low his neck. Muscle Trump flag goes hard. Yeah, it goes crazy, doesn't it? It goes crazy. Almost as crazy as stealing hundreds of documents from the federal government. 
Almost. Almost. It's getting there at least. Uh, they were down there. They were uh, they were memeing around a little bit. They were not very happy. Biden's uh, possession of classified documents be used at all in this case in Trump's defense. Yeah, they they could under like selective prosecution to basically say that you know that not only was He's there snitch. misconduct, but they're going after President Trump. Um, you know, and they did it in other cases. Now, what I can tell you is. You have to distinguish these two cases because Mr. Trump is accused of illegally re holding on to these documents, refusing to give them up. And he's accused of conspiring with his aide to to make sure the government and his own attorneys don't see these documents. So that's different from the situation where uh, President Biden's team says that they they complied. They reported the information. They opened their doors and. They had, uh, you know, agents search the the property to remove it. So the difference is, yes, they all had classified information, but the classified information that President Trump turned over. He's what is this tweet? Wait, are these live tweets that they that they play on street? Who is this? <laughs> Ooh, they got this some guy with the salad cat PFP. That is so funny. Hey, Marsha. Do you think Trump's attorneys will push to have the trial before or after the election? <laughs> Honestly, that's a good question. Uh, thank you, Evan. Good question, Evan. Very cool. Not being prosecuted for that. He's only. Yeah, uh, honestly, it's almost like lying to the feds makes your life worse. That's crazy how that works out. Who could have who could have assumed this? Who could have thought about this? It was very many things have been surreal having wit witnessed, you know, this as the rest of the country just in 2016. Like, you think you think Trump will have attorneys? I feel like we're going we're going off of schedule off topic here. But just, you know, tits out for Joe Biden becoming president, of course, was something that was very interesting to witness. But, I was just yeah. passed along a What's nugget here by our Share your nugget, uh, buddy. assistant news director. We yep. do, of course, have reporters on the ground. Give me that uh, nugget, JB. And, and so a bit of breaking news. Donald Trump has officially surrendered in federal court in Florida here in Miami uh, ahead of his arraignment at three o'clock Eastern time. So he has turned himself in. He has formally surrendered. And now he's going to be arraigned on the 37 felony counts again at three o'clock Eastern time. The entire court proceeding is expected to be uh, less than an hour long. He is then going to be departing for an event tonight uh, in New Jersey. Uh, he's going to be leaving from South. Dude, I still think it's insane that this guy is allowed to like leave jail. <laughs> they like. 37 counts and mishandling nuclear documents and they and they let him and they, they let him go home do if any other human being did this he would go home like he would not be going home he wouldn't he would never see his home again actually he's got important meetings no he was going to an event in uh, in bedminster new jersey i mean like what jen i mean like can we think can we talk about it real quick what's worse what's worse going to jail in miami or going to an uh, or just living in New Jersey. Genuinely, <laughs> uh, a question science is still unable to answer. In a courtroom, and like you could try to analyze what what's going through his head. Is he somber? Is he you know? But those are very striking. Jail in Miami. You're not going to see to see that today. But you know, CNN had video of him last night um, in Florida uh, at his the place that he was staying, and he seemed you know upbeat. He seemed, you mm -hmm. know, like he's ready to fight this. He's been, he was just through. Yeah, brother, that's called, um, ma'am, that's called delusion. He seemed pretty upbeat. Um, the insane man seems pretty upbeat about going to jail. <laughs> Honestly, I, I can imagine. Hey, some birthday, hey, some birthday. Hey, hey, some birthday, huh? I tell you what, say hey, some birthday. So as he was being arraigned, okay. His lawyer decided that it was important for her to answer a couple of questions outside of the courtroom where he's being kept. Hey, some, hey, some birthday. Can I, uh, I, I get no respect that time. None at all. 
And we are understand that the booking process is complete. We want to hear now from Trump attorney and spokeswoman Alina Haba. It is not about the 2024 election. It is about the destruction of the long-standing American principles that have set this country apart for so long. In recent years, people are so crazy. We've seen the rise of politically motivated prosecutors who don't care for new lawyer just drop. No, 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 no. Haba Haba's an old lawyer actually. Haba's a Haba's an old lawyer. Um honestly, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. She's been with him through thick and thin, mostly thick, um, incredibly thick, actually. Um, and things have not been going too well for her, honestly. <laughs> uh. Who don't care for due process or equal pro protection of laws. They have been quietly but aggressively cultivating a two-tiered system of justice where selective treatment is the norm. From the Russia hoax to the attorney generals to the corrupt DAs in Georgia and New York. And now this. The people in charge Shit's of this mad country... boring. Is she going to answer questions? Barely declassified documents. She's not going to answer questions. She just books it. Here, let's see. Uh, has a mugshot been taken? Walk us through what's happening here now. President Trump is in a very unique position where he doesn't need to be uh, given a mugshot, obviously. He's not a flight risk. He is the leading okay, candidate buddy. of the GOP at the moment. Um, he is going through a process that has been coordinated with Secret Service, and uh, it will all be handled seamlessly. Thank you, guys. The attorneys and then he leaves what, what is this no real questions he just she just leaves dude boring what in the world answer some tough questions answer some tough questions like what color does he think his jumpsuit will be when he's in prison and, and is he good at making friends with his cellmates <laughs> i am not a flight risk flies to russia <laughs> Oh no, wait, look at this Fox News cup. Okay, I'm on Aaron Rupar's Twitter looking at, cause he usually grabs the, he usually nabs up the funniest clips from right wing cope and look at this about uh, Preston breaking you know Preston Ford decided it was best for America not to pursue prosecution against President Nixon. President Trump pretty much made the same decision, decided not to pursue any kind of prosecution of Hillary Clinton. You know, Joe Biden could have made the exact same decision, but he didn't. He allowed a SWAT raid on a, a very secure residence of President Trump uh, over federal records, even though he was holding classified records himself. About uh, President, why in the world should the president stop the police from stopping somebody from committing one? Just so you know, remember, he was holding documents. They possibly could have passed on sensitive national security information to the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, all right? And and lost nuclear documents pertaining to the United States and other countries. And my bro was unironically like, Biden should have stopped him from going to jail. Like, it was like really mean. Donald Trump was like so nice to Hillary Clinton by not throwing her in jail for the non illegal thing that he that she didn't do. Um but, and he's just like a bad guy. He's like a really not nice guy. He's really mean. He's so mean to Trump. He's so he's so mean to Trump. He needs to stop. He needs to stop. It needed to stop a long time ago. And if that oh anyways, here wait, let me see if we can get some more clips. <laughs> let me see if I can get, grab some more clips. Oh, this one's fun. Byron Donalds on CNN uh, suggests that the pictures of boxes and documents are in Mar-a-Lago's bathroom and ballroom are no big deal. On this, one other point I want to make: you guys are throwing up the pictures about they were in the bathroom or they were on the stage. As somebody who's been to Mar-a-Lago, you just can't walk through Mar-a-Lago of your own accord because Secret Service is all over the place. So if the documents are in a place, they're in a room. Depending on the time of year, you can't even get into said room. There are 33 bathrooms at, at Mar-a-Lago, so don't act like it's just in some random bathroom that the guests can go into. That's not true. What type, 
what can you can I get some what level of cope is this? Like like what 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 level of cope are we at right now? Where we're at? Yeah, he took nuclear documents that could um endanger the entire planet's safety, and yeah, he kept it in his bathroom, but. Random people may not have been just your average random person may not be in that bathroom. Your average civilian on the street may not be in that bathroom. That's crazy. Cope Kaioken times 10. <laughs> Cope. This is, yeah, we're, this is Cope Con 1. This is nuclear level Cope. Literally. This is literally nuclear level Cope. Ha <laughs> This cope has a half life of 10,000 years. <laughs> that is genuine. That is wild. Imagine being in the accomplished elected official um, with a bright future whose job has essentially been reduced to, well, actually, the bathroom layout of, uh, well, actually, the bathroom layout of Mar a Lago. Yeah, man. That's true. This guy really has fallen from grace. This guy was supposed to this this Byron guy was actually supposed to be a really influential far like, you know, far right and uh conservative figure, but now she's like this. Carrie Lake's debut single hits number 1 on iTunes. Carrie Lake released music today? Carrie Lake dropped song called 81 million votes. 81 million votes my ass with 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 the team behind Trump's January 6 prison choir <laughs> what no 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 this is this can't be real you're you're joking this can't she didn't actually drop a song with the she actually dropped what is this what am I looking at what is this Wait, look at this look at this album cover she's drake she's drake i knew drake was light-skinned but i didn't think it got it was getting this bad what is happening yo what the <laughs> january 6 prison choir oh okay so you may not know this this is an old meme but it when the january sixers got arrested a lot of them went to the dc penitentiary and they were known for for singing pro-trump religious hymns and, and 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 like uh, American songs to each other back and forth to keep like the the right wing derangement echo chamber going, um, and so with the like across the cells and across the entire like jail since they filled up the entire jail themselves they were like singing cult like pro Trump hymns to each other um, to keep their spirits up. This is a certified trailer park classic. <laughs> uh, this is a certified cul-de-sac class. It's crazy. I'm genuinely losing my is this is this copywritten? Oh uh, holy shit. I've, is this copywritten? Yo, what the fuck? That's insane, dude. That's so fucking funny. I'm so this is so funny. Nickelback but worse. <laughs> Orange neck. Shark, please turn it off. I'm begging you, please. But it's so good. It's so good though. You can't tell me that this is not good. This is great. This is so good. I mean, the January 6 choir, they're 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 like going crazy. Trump Trump recent the reason why she knows about the January 6 choir is because um Trump started a campaign in Waco, Texas, um, by having the January 6 choir come out and like sing for him. Ladies and gentlemen. Please rise and place your hand over your heart for the number one song on iTunes, Amazon, and the Billboard charts. Justice for what is going on right now? Hello, bro. What is happening? What's up with this audio, bro? Number one song on iTunes, Amazon, and the Billboard charts.
What the fuck is going on? Is that just me? Ladies Are you and gentlemen, that too? please rise and place your hand. What is going on? Actually, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Something something's happening. Yeah. And the J6 choir. What the fuck? So, just so you know, what, what you're listening to is a phone recording of people who were arrested for trying to kill Nancy Pelosi in, 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 in the House of Representatives, singing to each other across their cells, recorded by a cell phone and then uploaded to iTunes as a song. Club Fed has bad acoustics, it does. Rytoid audio recording, yeah, 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 yeah. No, say can you see? Wait, I kind of want to hear listen a little. Bit. Wait, um, oh, actually, one one guy escaped. One guy actually escaped the choir. Uh, one guy actually talked. A this is this is a little bit of an old meme, but this is something I kind of want to. Um, yeah, wait one second. Let me see if I can find this story. It's a bit of an older story. No. No. Where is this? This is so. It was such a good story. It was such a good story. No, I really wanted to find this. If anybody has a story, can you please uh, send it? Because it was it was so good. The guy who told the judge that um, that like the people who he's uh, who he was kept in cells with uh, in in D.C. were like cultishly singing in their cells to each other, like america they were like singing 50 nifty in the american national anthem over and over and over and over and over again to keep um uh, to, 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 keep, to keep like the grift going oh man that is so sad i'm not sure if i can find it i didn't hear about this wait in a dc jail january 6 defenders await trial are forming bitter factions oh no oh no they're starting they're starting trump gangs they're, they're starting to get so antsy. They're starting like pro-Trump, different faction pro-Trump gangs in in jail. Is that true? They're, they're forming bitter factions. Inside of the Washington, D.C. jail, the group of defendants charged in the January 6, 2021 attacks in the U.S. Capitol have been held for um, uh, as long as a year or more. Our bitter, uh, sorry, a bitter divide is growing. The current and former inmates say a combination uh, of that intense proximity, the stress of criminal cases, and a uh, fight over more than a million dollars donated to support the defendants has contributed to the rift. One inmate described the situation to NPR as too many rats together in the, sa in the same small cage for too long. Tempers naturally get short, he said. Click solidifying uh, further uh, into independent camps as time progresses. That inmate, like uh, like several others, told his story to NPR on the condition of anonymity. Oh, he doesn't want to get his ass beat by jail in the other one in jail by the other ones. Oh no, NPR and said that the divisions among some of the highest profile defendants in the country are now boiling over. Um, it all started in the weeks after the January six uh, riot. The FBI agents conducted a shock and awe. Um, in the, the campaign of shock and awe, in the words of the top prosecutor, oh damn, they they're throwing the damn book at them. It's so over. Some ended up scattered um, in jails close to their homes, uh, but a few dozens, precisely the number, has fluctuated. Were incarcerated in the city that January six took place in. Combination of court backlog and COVID nineteen has made them start to get stir crazy. And so the decision to hold uh, disparate groups of alleged capital rioters from all over the country, including those linked to the Proud Boys, Oath Keepers, and QAnon, in one section of the jail, um, this protracted period has unintended consequences. Initially, the inmates seemed so unified and bonded that a defense attorney told the judge um, that the jail has, has turned into a cult-like atmosphere. No, oh, I think this is the story that I was thinking of. I think this is the, this is this is the thing I was thinking of. Wait, let me wait, let me look through this really quick before before I before we go too crazy. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Let's 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 go. I think the court uh, may know this, but every night at 9 p.m., the folks there stand up and sing the Star Spangled Ban Banner. 
Ben, uh, 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 Brenwald said, I was on the phone with uh, Cybic a month ago and we talked. In the middle of our talk, he said, I have to put the phone down. I'll be right back. They'll be angry if I don't get over there. Bro, <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I was literally, uh, it was literally this herd mentality. Uh, Brenwald said they're literally singing most of them off key literally singing the song almost cult like it was pretty scary actually Brenwald said that Cybic had requested to be put in isolation known as the hole in order to avoid dealing with the other inmates his biggest fear if I don't get out what do I do he's uh he's in a hole he shouldn't have to uh be in a hole because he's trying to avoid a radical unit <laughs> holy crap yeah this is the these this is the exact story that i was looking for i'm so glad i found it yeah I, to, to show you how bad it actually was bros stop it bro you're scaring the right wingers down in my hole feeling real small horror movie shit every night at 9 p.m they all uh, like sharp they all stand and sing the star Spang spangled banger and if you don't stand with them they'll like They'll they'll like attack you. You'll be cast out from the from the in group. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, these people are these people are sick. Yeah, things are starting to get really bad in there, man. Starting to get really bad in there. Anyways. Oh man, you failed to build back better. That is true, but that's more, that's more of a, that's, that, that's more of like, you know, uh, some Senator's faults, not by, not Biden's necessarily, but you know, he, he, Help! Help me! She's like, wait a second, that's not funny at all. Help, help me! Somebody, please! While well, Hillary Clinton in <laughs> in Massachusetts. Oh, oh, Carrie Lake. Oh, she's in jail, huh? <laughs> that's crazy. Wait, I'll put you on hold. I'll be right back. Bring, bring. Hello, suicide hotline. <laughs> I'd like to make an order. <laughs> no, no, Carrie, stay away from windows on multiple floor stories. No, please. Hello, suicide hotline. I'd like to make an order. <laughs> it is so good. I'd like to place an order, please. Waiter, waiter. <laughs> New dono sound? Maybe. I love how they're using Carrie Lake's voice as like the same way that like um MF Doom would use a racist white guy from the 40s. <laughs> they sampled they sampled Carrie Lake. It is so good, dude. I'm 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 sorry. This is it, it's too it's too pog. I'm sorry. It's I'm laughing. I'm literally laughing. It's so good. It's genuinely hilarious. Holy crap. I'm a racist white guy from the 40s. Uh, Post Malone owns a mobile phone. I witness Post Malone living in a mobile home. Anyways. And apparently that, just so you know, that song is number one on iTunes right now. If, if, you, if you have an iPhone and you, and you go to the iTunes store, you'll see it at number one. That's just... I boomer, I boomer. How iTunes is gone? It's because all of them are buying it. 
they have the solidarity to like always buy something that a conservative grifter is selling. Well, I say solidarity. In in their mind, it's solidarity. In real life, it's cultish behavior. But you know, as it goes, as it goes, very interesting stuff. Interesting stuff indeed. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Here, well, let me let me see. Let me see if I can find some more fun clips for you all. Okay. No, they feel so bad for him. They're having a pity party for him. Poor baby. Comments of this nature don't belong at Biden's garage. They don't belong in Hillary Clinton's server. They don't belong at Mar-a-Lago. But there's no allegation here. Even if you read the indictment, nowhere does it say, and as a result, the national security of the United States was harmed in this way. Okay? And you have to weigh that. With Listen, um, if you plan to kill somebody and then you say you want to kill them and then you put through the plan to try to kill them, but you fail, that doesn't mean that you don't. A attempted murder? That's not, that's not even a real crime. They put, they're going to put me in jail for attempting a crime? I didn't even hurt anybody. With an indictment that now is going to put our country in a deep, uh, already divided and polarized country in a really dangerous place. Stop because committing now crimes then. Are being undermined. Now the whole country, we're watching this spectacle play out on television, and it will for the next year and a half. Not to mention, there's real questions about whether the president can get a fair shake here. I mean, what lawyer licensed to practice in the Southern District of Florida works at a firm whose clients aren't going to complain if he signs up the president, can get the clearance to do a national security, and is actually a good lawyer. How My guy. What is this? You think the sense here? The next Republican president is going to be under tremendous pressure to bring charges. To not commit crimes? Charges and indict Joe Biden, his family. For what? His crackhead son, whoever. Nice one. For what? You're gonna you, what? You're going to arrest um, Hunter Biden for having a fat cock? Is that what you're going to arrest him for? For smoking crack? God forbid men have hobbies. For being old. For being old and stinky. So true. So true. Oh man. Oh, this is not going well for them. Wait, this is this is this is this is all they got. Well, you know, I think one theory about why the former president did. Yeah, they're theory crafting. Like they're in between chapters in in a, in, a, in like a in like a weekly uh, manga drop. They're th they're theory crafting in between the chapters to see what's going to happen. Well, my uh, I've been reading a lot of theories. Uh, I'll, I'll have you know, I've been on Twitter recently. I've been reading a lot of theories, and I'll have you know, I think one theory is that and keep this stuff. There are two possible reasons. Mm -hmm. One is souvenirs. Uh, he really liked mementos. He just uh, missed being the president. Filled with them. He missed looking at he look he missed looking at l lame ass nuclear documents that he never even read, so he had to he had to take it he had to he had to, he's just that type of guy okay he's like he's really sentimental so he had to take documents on um, the U S invasion plan of, uh, of Iran and give it to Saudi Arabia he had to he had to he had to I will say. That invasion plan was also under Donald Trump. So, I don't know, man. It just seems really weird. Was Donald Trump planning to invade Iran? I don't know, man. Curious stuff. Curious stuff indeed. Uh, and the letter from Kim Jong-un would, uh, would fit into that. He was really, uh, he, he was taken with those letters he that he got from Kim Jong-un. He, he, was he read them to people in the Oval Office. He thought they were uh, quite amusing. Well, you know, I think he thought they were quite amusing. They were besties. <laughs> he couldn't, he couldn't let them go. Come on, man. What is it? A, a, a God forbid men have, um, men have feelings towards the things that were given to them legally. Oh man. So much, so much for the tolerant left. Am I right, chat? Am I right, chat? Oh man. These guys, you can't have anything nice these days. Sensitive documents make great toilet paper. That now that's true. That's true. Oh, that's true. Oh man, Fox News is like they're going feral. They're genuinely, unironically going feral because of all of this. We have some video that we want to play out here. Melania Trump uh, entering uh, the courthouse just a, a short time ago. Um, there she is, just uh, out of the vehicle, and uh, now going toward the the courthouse. Um, uh, so we just want to clarify uh, something, Byron. Um, we, we thought that that was uh, Melania Trump who was arriving. Apparently, it was not Melania. Um, 
So apologies for that. But uh, you know, a day like today with so many comings and goings, it's uh, easy from a distance uh, to mistake uh, two people. Uh, Byron, what do you think is ultimately... Oh, it was Margot Martin. Ah, uh, okay. He's losing it. Nobody even knows who she is. Possibly even a body double. Who knows? They're losing it. They're losing it. It was not Melania. Wait a second. Okay. They're losing it over there. And you're losing it over there. Poor babies. Get well soon. Actually, don't. Well, keep suffering. I hate you. <laughs> it's difficult to be honest. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, it's so good. But after he got arraigned, um, after he got arraigned for this, he then went to New Jersey um, to talk to talk to his supporters. OK, he then went to New Jersey and uh, it went, you know, about as how you would expect. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. It's a great honor to have you mm -hmm. here. And Today, we witness the most evil and heinous abuse of power in the history of our country. Very sad thing to watch. A corrupt sitting president had his top political opponent arrested on fake and fabricated charges of which he and numerous other presidents would be guilty. Right in the middle of a presidential election in which he is losing very badly. So true. He is losing this election says the man who's about to go to federal prison. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh yeah, they're yeah, they're losing it. They're going feral out there. Ever been in the White House, Donald country. The most innocent man that's ever been in the White House, Donald J. Trump. Holy crap, they're starting to talk like him. They're they're starting to morph into him. What's happening? The best president we've ever had. 45/47 45 slash 47 better than better than Washington better than Lincoln say it he's coming back there, this is the longest witch hunt going on eight years now since he came down the escalator do you the believe guy's an, the guy's an American hero do you believe there's a two-tier system of justice do you believe this is unfair obviously I don't even know how anybody can ask that with a straight face there's obviously a two-tier justice system why is the Clinton crime family running wild why is Beijing Biden and the and the uh, money laundering operation that Hunter Biden started these people genuinely literally think in bumper stickers. I've never seen this before, but the buzzword soup and bumper sticker ideology is just it's on full display here. <laughs> he's he's speaking in bumper sticker. <laughs> Out of uh, Ukraine. I do like Beijing Biden. Beijing Biden is very funny. Uh, all they know is buzzwords, I guess, man. He started the war on Ukraine five years ago when he was working for Burisma. If, last, last, last question. If he if started Trump the war, were to get I, I didn't. I've never heard that conspiracy before, but I guess it's new. Apparently, Hunter Biden started the war in Ukraine. He made the Ukraine war five years ago. Wait, did wait did did he? Did 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 he like invade? Did was 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 Hunter Biden? One of the little green men? Did he like invade the Donbass? Did he ing invade Crimea? Like what happened? <laughs> what? Elected? Should he consider a pardon for the Biden family? Absolutely not. They're a crime family. You're either an American or a Democrat these days. There's no way to be both. So Holy shit! This guy. This guy is so gone. He only thinks in buzzwords and, and, and catchphrases. That is very sad. I, I, I hope he doesn't. I hope his family is okay. That is crazy. Please, I need somebody to help me to balance my budget. Three hundred dollars, uh, for, uh, for electric. Two hundred dollars for water. Thirty-five hundred dollars on Trump memorabilia. Two hundred dollars for, <laughs> for, for credit card debt. Somebody help me. My family is starving. Somebody help me. My family is starving. You're either American or Democrat. And the most concerning quote, it actually is very concerning, but it's not like surprising though. They genuinely believe that like the Democrats are only there to, are there like literally demons? They don't like America. They like China, I guess, more. They just want to have us all speaking Mandarin Chinese. It is, it is just fascist propaganda that they've all bought into because it's just so appealing. 
It always has been appealing to these types of people. People bought into this and they're groomed into it. It's very sad, actually. This this boy is like probably almost never going to come out. <laughs> He's almost never going to come out of this until the day he dies, which is incredibly unfortunate. And and, and the cope is starting to get really bad. Conversations the the source had with over several years, these conversations the the source had with the top executive and of it's Charisma on the level. dated. That's what I'm saying. It's sure. On, it sounds like it's on the level. You follow? It's absolutely. It's, you just it's, can't make this stuff up with this amount of detail and specificity. I mean, the source had these conversations. That's <laughs> what he says, and we'll find out if these allegations that that the Burisma executive made to the source are in fact true. I mean, these FD 1023 forms that the FBI uses, they are very firm in saying that it doesn't mean just because the FBI recorded this interview with the source doesn't mean that the allegations are See, valid, but it's know, something that they should have been looking into. Two hundred. I'd have done it for 175. Anyway, <laughs> Brooke Sangman. Just so you know, they're talking about Biden. They're like, they think Biden's going to be going to jail soon because Burisma and um, the documents and they're like doing things and, you know, and stuff. Things along those lines. And I mean, Charlie's losing his mind as well. We already saw what Charlie said earlier, but Charlie's like, he's starting to get worse. I genuinely think that Charlie is going crazy. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even going to like be lying to you. I genuinely think, I'm not even being like fascist here or anything. I genuinely believe that all of this coming out about Trump is making him lose his mind. We have so many important things to talk about, right? There is the war in Ukraine. There's like... Um, there's China's increasing aggression in the East China, sorry, in the South China Sea. Um, there's climate change. There's, we're, we still have to worry about COVID and, and other diseases. You know, we have to worry about uh, food security and, and energy. But this is what Charlie Kirk is talking about. The show is brought to you by Blackout Coffee. It is powered by Blackout Coffee. Family owned. 100% committed to conservative values from sourcing the beans to the roasting process. Customer support. Go to blackoutcoffee.com slash char. So what is it like child labor or something? Is that, is that, is that a, the conservative value you're talking about? That is blackoutcoffee.com slash Charlie. Super happy to partner with them. Wait, would, you, would like Charlie like blackout coffee? I thought he would like whiteout coffee more, but whatever. 100% endorsement. Check it out for all your coffee needs. We are now having to, I'm, I'm guilty of this. I, I'm going to through this. my kitchen, I'm going to my refrigerator, and I'm starting to ask the question, well, is this ketchup bottle woke? Is this mustard? I mean, literally, we're at the place now where we have to go through, is the company that makes this? And so... My boy is, like, checking under his bed to see if wokeness is there. You need to, you genuinely need to seek help. There is something wrong with you. Is, is, is my mustard bottle woke? Is my ketchup bottle woke? Seek, please seek therapy. I'm begging you to see therapy. It's just, it, you, you're not okay. Normal people don't do this. Normal people don't act like this. Normal people are okay with their, their ketchup company thinking that we shouldn't hang gay people it's okay it's fine you'll be you'll live nobody's forcing you to be gay there's no such thing as government enforced homosexuality you're trying to enforce a, a heterosexuality through the government though just chill out okay chill the, the stress is obviously ruining his hairline you need to this is not good for you. You're gonna cut your lifespan short like this. It's not good for your health, buddy. Dad's looking, guys looking for woke John Wick under the bed. Yeah, I know, right? He's going it, it, like he's looking for Gonzo from uh from Sesame Street wearing a dress under his bed to see if it's going to homo his um his wife's and then she'll break up with him. And then he'll get divorced too. This giant corporation isn't pandering to me exclusively. There's something wrong here. It's just it's just sick. This is, this is what conservatism is here in America. A lot of people don't understand it, but it is genuinely a mind virus. I love how they call like wokeness a mind virus. Can't even explain what wokeness is. While these people are genuinely losing sleep, 
about wondering if the ketchup that they put on their microwave hot dogs is woke or not. I'm sorry. It's just. Get help. Get help, brother. Get help. <laughs> Man. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. Thank you, boo.